Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler 2 walkthrough. Uh, just getting ready to do uh, the next crossed path here with um, Oswald and Patricio. Uh, so let's see here. I think, yeah, everybody's in the group. And let's... Actually, let's swap uh, Temenos out here. I was using Temenos there. Uh, I just kind of finished his uh, final chapter there. I think it was... He had four chapters. Technically five if you consider that, uh, you know, chapter, I think it's like three is split off into two different spots. But anyways, uh, let's go to uh, Hear a Tale here, and we will do the cross path, uh, the Scholar and Merchant Part 2. Now, let's see. Regulus's laboratory should be around here, I reckon. Hmm. I wonder if he's completed his astronomical telescope. Let's stop in and have a drink with him. As in an alcoholic beverage? <laughs> Is there any other kind? Alcohol dulls the mind. If we have a drink, it should be coffee. Coffee? Uh, just so you know, I take mine with plenty of milk. That's absurd. Milk blunts the bitterness from the beans. The very bitterness that stimulates the mind. Well, to each their own. Now, can we at least go inside and say hello? Very well. All right, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, I was I, I was wondering what the story was going to be with this spot here. I always looked like there was something going to be here. Regulus. Regulus, what happened? My research, it's been stolen. And since you're here, have you anything to eat i'm so hungry i fear i shall lose the power to speak oh, <laughs> the gods haven't turned their back on me yet good gracious my first meal in six days 19 hours and four minutes what's kept you from food so long this time you said your research was stolen. What happened? Everything was proceeding apace. I completed the astronomical telescope. But I had exhausted my funds. So I employed the services of a money lender. And, well, um, loans need collateral, so I handed over the telescope. Oh, boy. Then it wasn't stolen, was it, Regulus? You sold it. To my great shame, I proceeded to liquidate the money I borrowed, and well, here we are. I cannot so much as look at my telescope until I've returned the money. Well, that there is just awful. I cannot fathom why a researcher would hand over the fruits of his labor. Oh, uh, well, at least he's okay. That counts for something, don't it? <sighs> that sweetness of yours is impeding our progress. Mm, on the contrary, a bit of sweetness helps everything along. As in coffee, as in life, partner. <sighs> we best talk to the loan shark first. Get him to give back the telescope. Be my guest. That's the spirit. Now let's go find that loan shark. Make for the 
money lenders mansion. All right, let's do that. <laughs> that astronomer was a nice, easy mark. I can't believe he keeps giving us money, even though he's long since paid off his loan. Who'd have thought the smart guy wouldn't know how to handle money? We should sell that tube he gave us. I'm sure it'll fetch a pile of coin. <laughs> Did you hear that? Claire's dying. Seems our man Regulus is bailed too. Who the hell are you? Just so I know the score, Particio. Do these cups of coffee need any milk or sugar? Oh, now see, it pays to be discerning. Coffee this bad doesn't need sweetening. It needs to be thrown out. I see. The merchant's palate contains multitudes. Will somebody shut these two up already? Hey, a customer. <laughs> no. Okay. Roar, thunder, and broken. I still have much All to right. do. Easy enough. Let's keep going. You got it, partner. Time to gather up the fruits of old Regulus's labor and get them back to him. Who are you? And what have you done to my guards? Oh, well, those fellas saw we were just passing through and kindly let us in. We're here about Regulus's debt. <laughs> what about it? If you're looking for remorse, you won't find it here. All I did was slightly rewrite the agreement. To include a little more coin for yours truly. That man may be an astronomer, but he's clearly no good with money. Which has helped me make a lot of it off him in turn. <sighs> Don't take me lightly, friend. There's two things I can't abide. Fools who can't pay and intruders. Can I ask you something? Do you like coffee? I adore coffee. Nothing better than a good brew black as night. Oh, that's so. Then I reckon it's your lucky day. Cause I got a nice big old cup of the bitter stuff for you. What he said. Prepare for a beating. Get him, gang. I'm the hunter. You're the prey. <laughs> I need a plan. All right. Are these the same guys? Yeah, the thugs are look like they're the same, right? Let me look at you. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. Yeehaw! Let's dip my Thank you. Thinking time. Roar, thunder. A week. Fine work, Oswald. Not this time. My prey a 
<laughs> you have some nice stuff. <laughs> Here I come. I don't know if I'd call that nice, but I fight for my friend. I summon brand. Good. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. You. It's over. Give us the telescope. Uh, I... I don't know what you're... Come on now. No more dickering. I've got money. This low life isn't worth paying. Just leave him to me. <laughs> Mug him? Alright. Don't mind if I do. Hand it over. We'll give away anything for free. I like my arms. Hmm. <laughs> you can still run away. I'll take that. I like my arms. I need a plan. All right, last time. I like my arms. Hmm. Oh, let's see. You're finished. <laughs> Study harder. Bottle of poison dust. There it is. <laughs> I'll look the other way this once, partner. <laughs> I owe you one. Now, you're going to keep clear of Regulus. You hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, have mercy. Uh. Oh, you recovered it. The pinnacle of my research. My greatest achievement. Oh, thank you both. I swear to the stars, I shall never forget what you have done for me. Uh, just promise me you'll look at your next contract as hard as you look at them stars. I second that. I... Uh... I'll do my best. Now then, gentlemen, the sun is primed to set. And once it has, my telescope will reveal to you the mysteries of the night sky. Oh. Look at that. What's that big round one? <laughs> that would be the moon. No doubt closer than you've ever seen it before. Well, it sure is lumpy. Looks like a big old cookie sitting up there. <laughs> I'd actually like to see that. Fascinating. Those red and blue stars, they form a cross. A cross? Which ones? Ah, those. That'd be the cross of Cetus, the bearded whale. But wait, at this time of year? Well, it shouldn't be visible. What do you mean? Well, Cetus circles the sky as all constellations do. 
At this time of year, why, it should only be overhead during the day. I don't understand. How is this possible? Sometimes we must alter our own conceptions of the world, Regulus. Suppose it is night now, when it ought still be day. So, day became night? Huh? Well, it just so happens I've recorded the time of sun up and sun down for many years. And it appears the daylight hours grew ever so slightly shorter for a time. I thought my mental faculties had declined, so I ceased keeping records. It seems you are wrong to doubt your own mind. In other words, the nights are getting longer? That would be a reasonable conclusion. I don't understand. Not one bit. Heaven and Earth would have to reverse themselves. Ah, but our power comes from working at the edge of the known world, does it not? <laughs> right you are, Oswald. This is why I cannot stop studying the night sky. It is a treasure trove of the unknown. I shall carry on my research with my trusty telescope. <laughs> More fodder for debates, I see. <laughs> you just remember to eat, you hear? I shall pray to the stars for your continued safety and survival. There it is, Mysteries of the Night Sky. All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Uh, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.